There we go. Nice fish. Nice fish. Nice fish, you guys. What's going on, everybody? Nick from 618 Fishing here, and welcome back to another fishing adventure. I got a fire in me. You're gonna set to burn. Uh, we got a world to see. And all the time to learn. Uh, I'm excited for today's episode because we are driving two hours to fish a tiny creek that is home to some rare fish. And on my last trip out there, I hooked into an absolute giant. Unfortunately, though, that fish came off. I am hoping for another chance. We have finally made it to the tiny creek and there are a handful of locations on this creek where I believe a monster could be hiding. So we're gonna hit up as many of those locations as we can. Let's get started. I was walking down the creek and I came across this nice deep spot out here in front of me. I've got a couple tactics as to how I'll be targeting these fish. I've got a fly rod and my spinning tackle. I am a lot more comfortable with my spinning tackle. I'm not very good at fly fishing, but I would like to catch a fish on both of these setups today. Here we go. There we go, fish on. Fish on you guys, fish on the fly rod. It is tiny in the net oh my gosh and it's out of the net it is so small that it goes through the net i've caught one of these in the past this looks like it might be a creek chub first fish was on the fly rod awesome see you later buddy obviously that was neither the species or monster fish that we are after today but anytime i can catch a fish on my fly rod i am stoked if i was a giant fish living in a tiny creek i would be hiding in these little root lots on the bank of the creek let's toss our fly in here Man, this spot is tricky. I know there has to be a big fish hiding in there, but I just cannot float my fly underneath these logs. Dang. I got a fire in me. You're gonna set to burn. We got a world to see. Now it's our turn. Okay, we've been fishing for quite some time today. This first stretch of creek was not terrible. I caught at least that one creek chub, but as far as the actual deep spots go, they are few and far between. And although the temperature outside is nice today, this water is still very chilly. So I think those monster fish are gonna be hiding in some deep holes. So let's go ahead and hop in the truck to go to a different section of this creek. Okay, we have made it to spot number two. This used to be my favorite spot along this creek. On my last trip out here, it was very shallow, like a bunch of erosion had taken it out. But looking at it today, it looks very deep. I was not expecting this. I was just gonna drive by and see what it looked like. But this looks very promising. To say that I'm excited would be an understatement. I can't wait to see if there's any big fish living beneath this spillway. Let's start by tossing out this black with a gold blade Panther Martin spinner. Here we go, first cast. There we go, nice fish. Nice fish. Nice fish, you guys. Nice fish. Please get in the net. Oh my gosh, he is a fighter. He is a fighter. In the net, there we go, yes. What a beauty. The spinner came off in the net. This is a very nice McLeod strain wild rainbow trout. I sound like a broken record at this point, but you guys know that these fish are only found in a handful of creeks and they are insanely difficult to actually catch. This is a very nice one. See you later, buddy. Yes. That fish right there was without a doubt a trophy McLeod strain wild rainbow trout but they get a whole lot bigger than that. My personal best, I actually caught from this exact spot and it was probably three times as big as that guy, which is absolutely mind blowing. This next lure might look like any other rusty micro crankbait, but it is very special. This is the exact lure that I caught my monster PB wild rainbow trout with. Let's throw it out there. There we go. Oh 
my gosh, did you guys see that? Holy smokes, this guy went airborne. This guy went absolutely airborne. In the net. Oh my gosh, this is one of the coolest fish that I've ever caught. The colors on this guy are amazing. Not to mention the fact that he flew about 10 feet across the creek. See you later, buddy. We'll have to go ahead and rig up a different crankbait that is not nearly as common. And here is that crankbait. It's a very rare goldfish lure with this articulating tail. This is actually a replica. I have an original, it's made by River to Sea, and it is one of the most unique crankbaits that I own. It has a really cool action in the water. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Hopefully this goldfish lure brings a little luck. First cast. It was worth a shot, but absolutely nothing showed interest in the goldfish lure. Although this spillaway is my favorite spot on this creek, it is not the only spot where you have the potential of hooking into a monster fish. On my last trip out here, I was at a different location and I hooked into a giant. So let's go ahead, hop back in the truck and head to that stretch of the creek. I'm a rolling stone, bound to roam. Come the morning, before I be gone. There we go. Fish on, you guys. Fish on, fish on. What do we got? Oh, it's a tiny one. Very cool. First catch at the third stretch of creek. See you later, buddy. the trees, falling leaves, like the breeze. There we go. Fish on. No, he's tangled up. Always oh, wrapped around something. Please get in the net. Yes. Yes, you guys. Fish on the fly rod. That was one of the goals I had for today. We finally did it. See you later, buddy. We have finally made it to the spot where on my last trip out here, I hooked into an absolute monster, a possible new personal best. Unfortunately though, it ended up coming off. Hopefully we get another chance. Here we go, first cast. There we go, fish on you guys. Oh, he's jumping through it. Dang, that was a nice one. Darn, darn. Fish on. In the net, okay. Not a giant, but we finally were able to get one in the net. See you later, buddy. Fish on. Fish on, you guys. The very next cast after I got the spinnerbait snag, we caught a fish. Awesome. See you later, buddy. The sun has set, so I need to start making the hike back to my truck, but what an awesome day of fishing. We caught a handful of trout, which is not the easiest of things to do at this creek. We caught one of the coolest looking ones that I've ever landed. We caught one on the fly rod, and to top it all off, my favorite spot on this creek is once again fishable. So needless to say, I had a lot of fun today. If you guys enjoyed this episode, I'd really appreciate it if you left a thumbs up, possibly think about subscribing if you haven't. I will catch you guys on the next one. Well, I struggle at catching fish with my fly rod. I do not, however, struggle at catching trees.